Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and I picked up some really cool Wave 5 stuff and a couple Wave 4 things, or just one Wave 4 things. So, I found myself um, the Aquas Paravian and, oops, the Darkest Hydronoid starter sets. I also saw the Aralus Nobilius, but I decided not to pick that up because I was like, oh, I gotta save money. But, um... I also picked up a Wave 4 Arliss Ultra Drago pack, so I'll be reviewing those things a bit later, but uh, since I'm kind of an old player of Bakugan, I kind of wanted to pick up or open up the Darkest Hydronoid pack, so that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, it was actually kind of interesting as I found these things and I was checking out at Target, uh, the guy... They, it, the new stuff isn't in their system yet, so they sold it to me for like $20 because they thought it was a starter pack, not a starter set. But I'm not complaining, I didn't really say anything, maybe that's like a bad thing, but um, yeah, so I got both starter sets for about 20 bucks each, which was awesome, but we'll get into it. Um, let me think about where I need to start unboxing, I think it's the other side. But yeah, since I'm like a old kind of person, um, like old school, I kind of wanted to open the Darkest Hydronoid just for nostalgia, but um, yeah. Okay, cool, so we'll start. I'll just take everything out of the box. Got all the card packs and the character cards. Now I know that the Darkest Hydronoid packs are, um, they have a defect with the character cards, like, it gives the Pyrus Ultra Nilius when it just gives you regular Nilius, so, kind of interesting, but, yeah, anyways, um, this packaging is a bit different, um, I don't know if it's, like, seeable, but it is kind of like a glossier plastic, anyways, just a weird observation. Yep, nothing in there. So yeah, we're probably going to be giving these guys a call so I can use my Pyrus Nilius. I don't know if I'll actually use it or not, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's cool to just have the toy anyways. All right, oops. So right here, you can see my little crappy setup. But um, anyways, we'll let it focus. Okay, cool. So it comes with the Darkest Hydronoid, pretty cool, pretty sick. We've got um, Pyrus Nilius and uh, Gorthion, yeah, an Aquas Gorthion. So I don't have any Gorthions yet, because I just got back into the whole thing after the semester. But pretty cool, pretty cool. So the, um, the character cards, we have Gorthion, Aquas Gorthion with 300B1 damage. Uh, with a fire fist and a shield, we have Nilius Ultra, that's not right, but I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have more cards, and then we have Hydronoid Ultra with 500 B power and 3 damage with a double helix. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, um, the cores that it comes with, we have this fire fist that gives minus 4 damage. We have a shield with plus 300 B power, 2 helixes. One with minus 250 and plus 5, and then plus 500 minus 1. So, interesting cores, pretty cool. I, there's two more in here that I completely did not acknowledge. Two more Fire Fists, 250 plus 3, and then a plus 5. So, um, don't really know the viability of these cores, but pretty cool. I, th I think the Fire Fist ones are pretty good. So, um, I'll open all these guys up. So, we have our Nilius. Pretty sick, pretty cool. Um, plus two, it's a 200B Bakugan, so. And then we've got our Gorthion. Oh, cool, it kind of just jumped up. I don't know if you saw that, my hand might have been in the way. But, um, pretty cool, yeah, because I don't have a Gorthion yet. I've, I've been looking for the diamond version, but have not been able to find her, so. Probably won't find her, but that's okay. I've only had luck with the starter pack, the first wave starter pack, and then Hydra's Ultra and Trox Ultra, so 
but I'm not complaining. Those are really cool. And then we have the checklist thing. I've got one in the back here. I don't know if it's out of date or not. Probably not. Um, anyways, uh, we've got a rule book here too. And then we've also got um, car this starter deck. And I heard this deck is pretty good and it looks like it so far because we're starting off with a deep dive. So pretty sick, pretty sick. Yeah, I was thinking about, I still don't really have a deck, but I'm leaning towards like Aquas and Chaos because those are, yeah, those are kind of where my heart is at right now. But um, yeah, I was kind of, I saw another Hydronoid pack there and I kind of regret not picking it up mostly because it does, like this deck has really good cards, but then on top of that, the guy was literally selling it to me for 20 bucks each so regret not going back but i didn't want to be too greedy and i'm also having a lot of issues opening this pack because this plastic does not want to be my friend and i just don't want to scratch any of it but um what is it i'll be back in a moment okay well i finally situated that and i was able to open it up so we'll just go through the cards quickly because this is probably like the 50th review on youtube but we have a deep dive card um we have freeze two freezes a deep two deep freezes yeah i'm assuming two um dark waters i heard that's a pretty good card i know there's two copies of that we've got a mud pit two mud pits water two water to ices another dark water there we go blind two blinding inks sorry i am literally just reviewing everything else but then we've got two aqua splashes um two a darkest snare sonic shield two sonic shields two lightnings pretty cool i don't really have too many hero cards but i don't know really the viability of lightning anyways but still cool um another darkest snare thunderbolts um two shadow dogs two dust to dust we've got a mind control a shadow cloak well two shadow cloaks two darkest petrifies two dark paths um constrictor two air zeros flame wheel or flame wave two flame waves and another constrictor so pretty good starter deck from what i understand about like the research that i've done and whatnot but um yeah pretty cool um really looking forward to using the aquas cards and even the pyrus parts too because i was thinking about doing a mono's pyrus deck a mono pyrus deck Ooh, that did not slur off right so um anyways i'm just gonna look at the big guy because this is probably what everyone is here to see so we have darkest hydronoid pretty cool pretty cool um We'll try and close it up right now, too. And maybe we'll try and get a roll in. I don't know. Um, I get roll shy on camera. So, um, there we go. Uh, you know, so I think those go in first, and then these go in. Well, hmm. So both of those have to go in, and then this guy can come in. Maybe it's like this first, and... Okay, well, this is kind of like a struggle, but... Um... You know, I'll come. Okay, well, that didn't take too long to close up, so we'll take a look at the ball form. And it's pretty cool. I really like all the green accents and just all the heads. Like, that's easily probably one of the coolest Bakugan. And we'll try and give her a roll. If I can get a couple more cores out, because I suck at this. But practice makes perfect, and your boy has definitely not been practicing but you know a for effort um do they still have the little they do have that little arrow i was about to say like that has been a ridiculously helpful thing oh missed it 
and I don't know, maybe the magnet's not super strong, but it also could just be my sucky rolling techniques. Yeah, probably my probably my sucky rolling techniques. But um, we'll try this. Well, I got it to do it, not in the way that it should have. I probably was holding it the wrong way. And it picked up a helix. Wow. Anyways, um, so pretty much Hydronoid's pretty awesome, pretty sick. I'm really excited to open the Aquas Paravian and the Arlos Dragonoid set, so stay tuned for those. And let me know if you have found any cool finds like diamonds or wave 4 or wave 5 things, like just put them down in the comments if you want to be like interactive with me but anyways toodaloo adios